Hey, what's up, everybody? This is uh, your boy, Brian. And uh, I just want to just drop this um, prophetic word on you. I was in the middle of cooking, and uh, the Lord just started speaking to me. And I just want to just share this with you because I believe that this is a word that's going to totally take you to just another dimension in your praise. But um, many of you know the show uh, that comes on uh, Just Judy. And, uh, you know, she deals with so many cases, but uh, do you <laughs> uh, uh, do you remember seeing like different shows where you have one individual who is winning their case, but they feel like they got to keep trying to uh, vindicate themselves or uh, you know, just give all the facts and everything, not realizing that they were winning. In the middle of winning, they, they're, I mean, it's, it's evident that they won, but they just keep trying to like, oh, judge, you know, one more thing. And, you know, Judge Judy got to be like, hey, you know, stop, stop. <laughs> you, you, you know, I got this. Just sit back and be quiet. And so, you know, when I was pondering on this, the Holy Spirit said to me, he said, tell the people of God to shut up. You've already won. <laughs> shut up. You've already won. Now, check this out. Here's the indication. Here is the indication for you, the sign to you that you have won. Uh, that when when you have individuals who uh, consistently uh, spread rumors about you, lie on you, uh, slander your name and all that. I mean, you know, the stuff that you kind of like get frustrated about and be like, oh, gosh, I can't believe they said this again. And, you know, this thing is getting all out and, and all this stuff. You know, that stuff you trip up of. God says, really, that's your opportunity to just go crazy in a praise. Why? Because that's the indication that you won. Okay? Because on their end, what they're trying to do is they're constantly trying to build upon a lie. Okay? Build upon you know, making themselves look good, you know, which they have aligned themselves with the enemy. Okay, that's 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 what the enemy does all day, every day. And so no matter how much they try to convince everybody and even try to convince God that you're not worthy of the blessing and not worthy to be where you are, God says, case dismissed. You've already won. He's telling that to you. You've already won. So no need to get upset anymore about, you know, hey, listen, let them talk about you. Let them say whatever they want to say concerning you. <laughs> because the bottom line is you've already won. It doesn't matter what they think about where you are, about your purpose, about your call. You know, it doesn't matter what they say about you. The fact of the matter is you already won. You've already won. So I just want to just drop that on you. And I just want you to just to now shift gears from, from worrying and being frustrated and being upset and angry about what they said to just start worshiping the Lord because victory has come to you today. I told you, this is your due season. Hey, listen, we're going to be uh, uh, this Sunday in our live service at the Brentwood Community Center at 2505 South Brentwood Boulevard in Brentwood, Missouri. I am inviting you to come. Our service started at 3.30, and I'm telling you, I got a word for you this Sunday. And, man, it's just going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be off the chain. But, look, I don't want you to miss out on what God has for you. Uh, and so this is your moment. So come join us this Sunday, 3.30, 3.30 p.m. at the Brentwood Community Center. All right? I'll be looking for you there. And, uh, you know... It's going to be good. Listen, I got to get back to the kitchen. I was in the middle of cooking, so I got to, you know, finish what I'm doing here. But much love to you all. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.